Sextortion, it's the newest crime predators are committing to exploit children, and it's all done online. Naperville News 17's Jardel Maglia sat down with a detective from the Naperville Police Department to find out how to keep kids safe. It starts off with a friendly game on a mobile device or computer. And before you know it, your child has been conned into sending naked pictures to a complete stranger. I'm getting kids who are on kick, as young as 8 years old, being sextorted right in their bedrooms. And parents have no idea because they're not having the conversations with their children. Predators use the chat room in mobile games to target kids, getting them to invite them to another app such as Snapchat. There, they ask for one nude photo, using that to blackmail them into sending more naked pictures or videos. It's not that their children are doing anything bad, it's the predators that know that they can get to the children through the games, through the apps, and make them victims. Richard Westocki has been a detective for the Computer Crimes Unit at the Naperville Police Department for more than 20 years. He says sextortion is one of the top crimes on the rise. We are well over 80 predators that we've arrested over three years. So it's roughly three predators a month that we catch, um, but the amount of children that we're saving is far more um, exciting. As a parent, Kathy Subber knows the dangers her two boys face when they open up those apps. But I find it difficult to manage what do they know that I don't know? You know, what different apps are they using that I have no idea about? What do I need to be aware of? So all of those things are always going to be out there. And I think that my main job as a parent is making sure that my kids are equipped with the knowledge of what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. Although speaking with your children about what's right and wrong is important, you might need to cross some boundaries to ensure their online safety. And when parents get the notion that they have to respect their child's privacy, that's the wrong notion. Parents that allow their children to charge their devices in their room at night are making a fatal mistake. Another task for parents? keeping up to date on codes kids use to communicate. Slaying like GNOC, get naked on camera, or NIFOC, naked in front of camera, is rampant. And if a kid knows there's a PIR, parents in room, they might resort to these codes to keep the conversation going. Yeah. Learning about those and finding out the apps on your kid's phone can help keep them safe. Knowledge is power. And if they have the right knowledge and the right ways to do things, we're going to catch more. A helping hand in the cause? My Mobile Watchdog. This app and others like it can help monitor your child's phone interactions while you're not around. It's steps like this that can make all the difference. I'm Jodel Maglia for Naperville News 17. Kids Matter is also hosting a digital footprint video contest that gives students the opportunity to promote cyber safety. Winners will be announced on March 2nd.